Hey there YouTube, this is Alex with Seville Auto and today I just wanted to uh, share a project that I've been working on. Um, I've had my Escort Redline radar detector connected with uh, a Walmart ruler that I ground down to fit and uh, attached to the sun visor clip in my 2005 C6 Corvette. Um, and I, I finally worked up the motivation to work on or b build something a little better. Um, and I had this fancy new 3D printer so I figured I'd see what I could do. And it's actually uh, over there working on a, a higher resolution of version of what I've got right now. But uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you some of the really cool stuff you can do with a 3D printer and a little bit of a initiative. So um, first of all, up here are, are parts that uh, were prototypes and are going to be scrapped. But, um, you know, three, three or four prototypes, not too bad. Uh, material cost wasn't anything significant. Um, obviously, that's my mirror. And what I really wanted to do, because I was, I wanted to have it attached to the back of the mirror, but there's no, there's no place to put one of the like the the standard mirror clamps. And um, there are a couple companies that make mounts for this mirror. Um, the the number one that I'm thinking of is the Blend Mount, but that's 130 bucks. And 130 bucks for a piece of of aluminum that's going to clamp a, a radar detector onto your mirror seems a little excessive. So I figured I'd see what else I could do. Um, and down here we have the final component pieces. Um, this is the top, fits in up here like so. It's got a nice little recessed bolt holes. Uh, it's at an angle to account for that, the slight angle that's there. Um, nice little draft there. Um, two bolt sleeves to cover up the, uh, the mounting bolts that I'll use. I want to reduce as much reflective material as possible um, since radar detectors aren't technically legal. Well, actually they're very illegal in Virginia. Um, but you know, it's never stopped me from doing anything before. So, uh, and then the bottom um, that has the the clip mounted on. Um, I would have taken this all apart, but those those nuts and bolts are pretty well cinched down, um, and those bolts are in recessed little holders as well. Um, and so yeah, basically I just uh, it's it's technically four pieces. We've got some hardware, um, but that's all it takes to get together. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and and slap it together and guys let me know what you think. All right, so this is it all assembled. I mean, it's super simple. Uh, just two, I think, 60 millimeter bolts, um, two 10 millimeter bolts up here um, that are held in with a recessed nut back there. Um, and these are where those, those bolt sleeves come in. I probably need to reduce the length of these bolts by five or 10 millimeters um, just to reduce the amount of reflective surface there. Probably paint these bolt heads black. Um, but I mean, it's a super simple system. Uh, it's really, it's that's going to slide off because my bracket's broken. Either that or the inside mount of the detectors there broken. But when it's on the car, that doesn't go anywhere. Um, but I mean, the, the mount's super solid. The clamp's good. It's not going anywhere. Um, I haven't had any issues with it yet by any means. Uh, I had a slightly different setup going before, which is if you saw these pieces, uh, these basically hung down below the mirror like that and were where the bracket clamped on. Uh, but I found that, that was just way too visible. It hung way too far below the mirror. Um, and with this, I get, I mean, it's, it's right up on the mirror. It actually uh, touches the mirror when you're driving down the road. Um, it's, it's not all that visible from outside the car, no more than any other mount and uh, any other mirror mount. And so, I mean, this is just basically wanted to uh, show off what you can do with a 3D printer. Um, it's, it's really cool technology. Uh, it has all sorts of applications outside, which you'd expect. Um, and just in the five minutes that I've been making this video, um, it's coming along nicely. So, yeah, uh, as always, like, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys next time.